Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. But I have a plan. Do you now? Renards. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encourage his foolishness, his confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War as a first resort? That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. offer him counsel. I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before, more than once, but believe me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Purpose. Purpose is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate, lead your armies into war, secure your vengeance. If securing our justice is not your purpose, then find another for your own sake. Does it hurt? Oh, this? Only when I worry. How would Atreus get to Asgard? I'm sorry, but you'd have to ask Odin. He's got control of every path. I know how highly you esteem our expertise on such things, so I'm sure that's disappointing. He's just been one step ahead of us. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. Squirrel. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madame Nethog's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She a friend of yours? Less a friend than another longtime tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible, just terrible. We 
are certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No. That is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Come. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's the chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. They herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet. Who we would fight. All of it. As it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Sigrun. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. You're so loyal. Why? Clever. Oh. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. Hold on. What's this way? Let us find out. This is the right area. But we can't go further on the sled. <laughs> Quiet. I just hope the Norns are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimble Winter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Yeah. Raider, left flank! <laughs>
The way forward is magically sealed. Something in here is giving it power. Might I suggest the ominous broken gravestone? The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find them. <laughs> As I was saying, the Norn's home is called the Well of Urd. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. Never mind that. Time to fight. Draugr Hole. I see it. Fredo, are you okay? She was called. I'm trying to remember which god raised her dander up. It does not matter. Doesn't it? If rage is all that remains, her reasons are irrelevant. I was telling you about the Well of Earth, where the Norns dwell. A place wholly under their influence where the intangible becomes tangible. Like... being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's mind? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Mimir, have you encountered these norms? Not personally. Faye's right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Freya, you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norm? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. This is the area. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? Thank you. You won't believe it, Mimir. This crest belongs to Fjotrlund. Fjotrlund, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. <coughs> the wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. Brother, 
part of your story. You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic. Nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. <laughs> I remember the Jotner crafting these bracers for Tyr's They chose only their most talented and accomplished to do the job. You have a good memory, Freya. Like Tyr, the Jotnar also believe the best offensive strategy is a good defense. So, this is how they chose to honor them. The Giants were not wrong. We don't have the equipment for this. Tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. It sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Opna! We found it. Ah! Isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. minds yet. He certainly seemed real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. This place almost looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. 
A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Freya of the Banyan. Master of Magics. Queen of the Valkyries. Witch of the Woods. Fridge of Asgard. Destroyer of all who would hope to protect. <laughs> she always finds somebody to blame. She cannot. Did know it all and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. <laughs> well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! official. Hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Just lie! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought his paper! You wanted his wars! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a damn! 
I know, Seagram. It's true, all of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scott? To Grumma? Or to Tanya? No! You only took the side of the blue Mother, watch out! There's more of us! Even now, bro, you see a violent god in need and you can't help but hate him and call him brother! And who you are is who! Who you are! And it's who! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamiya! Mother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Get me up! No! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take you! He's a bad It's over. Did we pass the test? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Its own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek. What all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, 
No. He fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but called, you called him, him the, the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must be a way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. <sighs> he stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall. And no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother. But it's hardly my point. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? 
Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. <laughs> Find a gateway, return home, consider our plans. Listen, brother, before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Another gravestone. But this one's intact. Aye, and with a keyhole tailor-made for the help we found. I was afraid of that. Right, he's a zealot! Kill the king! <laughs> 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 Do me a favor, brother. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong you at some point, Namir? You're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. The Oarsmen. Ugh. A monument of conquerors. Made some lovely warships, though. Mamir, <laughs> look. Another Fjotelund marking. Aye, this place must have been part of Sigrun's kingdom. A first outpost preceding further expansion. Mamir, what did those runes say? Sigrun. She loved another. King named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come, Mimir. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? Aye. I suppose I did. <laughs>
Iron peace, not a golden war. Tyr used to talk about how heavy the cost of war was compared to its bounties. He felt like it was his responsibility to avoid it. Kind of still does, in fact. That must be Tyr's helmet from his statue. Win minds, not wars. Tyr understood the greatest fight of them all was the battle for people's hearts and minds. Too bad Tyr has no interest in doing either these days. Brother, about the oracles of your lands, would you say they manipulated events? Did they have an agenda? I do not doubt they held their own interests first. But in my experience, they could be easily fooled by their own prophecies. Would that be a specific experience, brother? Hmm. Once, I sought the oracle for a means to break my bondage to Ares. One priestess had visions that showed her Olympus would be brought to ruin by the god of war. Brother! Look. Isn't that the spear from Tyr's statue? <laughs> Wish for peace. Be ready for war. Well, I think that's the last of it. Doubtful we'll find any more interesting bits. I always admired the love Tyr inspired. Where I come from, gods of war are not revered in such a way. Not all gods of war are the same, brother. No, they are not. Brother, can we get back to what you were saying about the Oracle of your homeland? She had visions of Olympus being brought down. Yes, by the god of war. Therefore she helped me, intending to undermine Ares and protect her realm. She did not foresee that I would kill him and take his office. In the end, I proved her vision of doom correct. So the Oracle herself brought about the very future she hoped to avoid. I suppose we're in fine company at that. back to the topic of prophecies brought about by the efforts to avoid them. I think I can recall such a story as you mentioned, brother. A Greek tale for the stage. Rather lurid, but very popular. You know the one? Every Greek knows the tragedy of the Theban king. Yeah, one gets around about that sort of thing. Sad to see Sigrun's homeland in such a terrible state. You know, Maria, if you want to take a tour of the kingdom, you might not like everything you find. Oh, she loved another before me. There are worse things to discover about someone you love. Yes, there certainly are. King Helgi massacred her family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. Sigrid and her brother had issues over that. Oh, and all the time Sigrid and I spent with each other, she never mentioned anything about this. Maybe she liked the way you saw her. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves.
I must say, I think we make a good team. With my brains, Petros is brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom. Magic. Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time. I was going to say brutality. That works. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye. Very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. It looks exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. It's another piece of Tyr's likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lodged right into this building, apparently. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. We just need to open the gate. <laughs> again. Mamir, does this look like an abandoned treasury to you? Aye, it does. It's Sigrun's family crest. Looks like a vault door to me. Now that we have both halves to that key, we should see if it matches that wall. Here sits Prince Daga. I can't believe he's still here. Prince Daga? That the corpse of Sigrun's brother? How'd he end up like that then? Yeah? Why won't you answer me? Are you certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Hmm. It seems Sigrun put a curse on her brother for killing the Mad King. No. Truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. Once she did, it was too late. She had cursed her brother. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. You knew all about Sigrun's family, didn't you, Freya? It was not my story to tell. Funny. Learning all this only makes me love her more. She chose me despite my flaws, my regrets. Knowing she has some of her own makes me feel closer to her. I am glad to hear it. So, these are the Valing schematics, eh? You know of him? Aye. One of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. Freya, how was Sigrun when you saw her last? She's still incorporeal, ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough.
What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the Lindworms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of lean worms will be a walk in the park. Well then, what else, friends? About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Until we meet again. Simmer down, I see him. This will be of use. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will it help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... Now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. You will not allow harm to come to him. What do you think? you little one. Got it! I think. I 
thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. We Enough! Need... Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because that bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Oh. Whew, that's a relief. <laughs> huh? Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady, no idea what he's on about, brother. I wish you could see you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no! This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you heard him. Quit your fret. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp. Shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? We'll think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for. On account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, all right. Right side! Oh, <laughs> 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 
Why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear. <sighs> it's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. <laughs> Shall we? This opinion of yours, was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job. Not mine. It's plain to see Tears no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Yogar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. Why is it, you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wouldn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel turning. Ah, teamwork. Well, he's ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. <sighs> when we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon. And to use it. Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Herjar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Folky! Well, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? 
lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen. <laughs> Well, so much for following me. Fine. Let's see what you find. Hey, try sticking your hand in that thing. Not that mean to hell. I was kidding, you scrub scarper. You don't oh, know. Don't oh. 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 Mind you, watch out. <laughs> You got just what you had for that time. You pleasure this up too? I'll have you know that was pleasure when we found it. Sure it was. <laughs> Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Hey, I got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. They seen us. Big Boomer coming up. Finally, now we can ride on up to the fort. Come on, the lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away. Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> Don't go <stone. laughs> Oh, isn't that clever? Bam pot. Yeah. Ooh, that's brisk. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See, dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? Hang on. I smell trouble. <laughs> hey, Bunker! Come on! <laughs> ah! No! Thank you! Look at him! So, this lady then. The Lady of the Forge. Ain't no more magical creature in this whole realm. 
Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noka. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. <laughs> but today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Ah, oh, fuck, Knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. Miss Lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. The only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I pulled her off. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it.
She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Victor almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! <laughs> the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her. Look! We got volunteers! <laughs> 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 That's the stuff! Space is first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a Spartan learns! What the hell? Makes this just like old times! Put it more forebodingly myself.
serve! This is the last! The drop near Spear's looking pretty battle-worthy to me. Let's see if she can help us get out of here, too. That's it! Now do the thing! Yep. Yeah. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Word his call to me. When the guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through her paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Ah, Take me! Oh, left oh, lick my spirit! <laughs> There's a hole <laughs> that's all! Get your throwing <laughs> arm in here! Right side, it's coming! <laughs> Good there! Get the dang there! <laughs> Find you, watch out! Better take out that net, or it'll be Eyeball City out here! Find you, look out! <laughs> Stop pokering around and smash that thing before more things come out! Any more guesses, belt boy? Oh, all right. Gets bigger the more you take away. <laughs> ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today. <laughs> say, good eye. That would get you right up there. The beer must be talking to yourself. Stuff out faster than I can teach. Not seeing no weak spots down here, but you keep looking. <laughs> it's all about the proper angle with those puppies. You want it straight on. One of these old children. <gasps> Put you in the trap. <laughs> Hello there. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskr whenever you're ready. <laughs> Got one last favor to ask of the both of you, and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Oh, very well. These ugly birds. Maybe those drill will take you down. Set up shop over yonder. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, 
Is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you! I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way. And will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever, kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid, you really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. That nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. So that's the weapon? A drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war, THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. Hmm. So this drop near spear. You're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. 
As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard Ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone. There's a keyhole that looks to fit the hilt you found. Hold on. Prepare for battle. Battlefield of Kalash! Fuck me! Roll! Wasting my breath over. His berserker champions even less so. Trash. The lot of them. Why wait until now to speak of them? Before there was nothing to be done. But finding that hilt changed things. Speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon. No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Guild, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big, gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ain Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Are you all right? Not the first time I've had an Aesir threat in my life. But? Thinking I'd like it to be the last. Ah. With the mining rigs disabled, it seems a bit fresher out here. Not seems. Is. I... You're right. Thanks, brother. Memory serves. We're heading in the right direction to find that large dwarven statue. Dunlin's hammer shouldn't be far behind. <laughs> in one piece after all this time. Unlike Durlin's resistance, I suppose. We will take this to him. Meeting the Lady of the Forge really brought back some memories. 
I thought it was only in my homeland you'd see such things. Mermaids who forge weapons. Aye. I remember very fondly a late nymph called Nimnu. Very talented with a sword. Well, yeah. I meant that literally. Shame on you. She made the best swords in all the Isles and had big dreams about what she'd do with them one day. I wonder what became of her. Freya, you mentioned that Thimblewinter had worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Sigrun who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I heard it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I... I am no longer sure that I do. That's correct. Well, Sigrun must have helped find your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place I guessed? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go, but helped me just the same. I came by and took out an Einher Yard patrol. Area should be clear. Can't speak for the rest of town. Guess an occupying army is as good as a lockdown for tamping down foot traffic. <sighs> you again. I hope you're back to clean up the mess that extra head of yours made. We have done it. Doesn't fix what I did, but... Hopefully it makes things a bit better. Let's be off, brother. Your hammer. Thanks! <sighs> Might not mean much with Odin's goons stomping around the city, but folks see this and they'll know we haven't completely given up. Not yet. <sighs> Never expected to see this thing again. Derlin. Kratos! Sorry about earlier. Talking about your wife like that. Do not be. No! Let me apologize. Feeling the old father's spear in your back makes a man want to set things right. Your silence on the matter is enough. Ah, if you say so. Ned, ah, uh, lungs. That, no, that's rubbish. What? Brock's bloody riddle. What gets bigger the more you take away? I can't let that blue twat beat me. If you are this upset, he already has. Brock, when you knew Faye, she... Let me stop you right there, killer. Brock ain't one to go breaking no confidences. Not even when it comes to the dearly departed. You don't hear me spreading your business all over town, do you? Smiths don't blab. It's just how it's gotta be. Why do you stare? He's gonna be fine, you know. I do not. He's getting what he needs. He is in danger. And being with you, he was safe as houses, huh? Never got close to dying. Not even once? I did not come to you for a lecture. I know. It's on the house. My new customer loyalty program. We will speak no more of it. What is this? Ravens. The ones we've been destroying. Odin's little spies. New father. New mother. New fate. To suffer. In life we hanged. In death we kneeled. Until you freed us. With your steel. So destroying the ravens free their spirits somehow. Good to know. Free? Well, 
free of Odin's control anyway. Now, let's see which armpit of Muspelheim that seed leads to, huh? Brock's riddle. Could the answer be... nothing? What gets bigger, the more you take away? Nothing. Uh, I don't think so, brother. Hmm. I do not like riddles. You wouldn't be able to turn down having another crack at these combat trials. How about that? The sea did lead us to Sutter's Gauntlet. What do you know of the trials? Oh, just your usual Muspelheim challenges of violence and slaughter. Rumor was it's Surtur's way of honing his blades, but I think he's just as much a sucker for blood sport as the rest of us. An ash petal. You have an interest in botanicals now? Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So? Then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. That. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. So, you're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing whatever. Smooth as snail shit, like I said. Why? For some reason you expected it to flip sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to hear everything proceeded as planned. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to boot. I taught them all about the nature of the thing and the form of the thing. Become a whole motif. You're making up words again. I said it was a motif, and it was beautiful. You are impossible. <laughs> I'm the most possible one around here. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan?
Kratos. You all right? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. The game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. <sighs> Have you nothing to say to your son? Do you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> Think. The mighty god of war, frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? I'm building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Three, hey. It's true. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that a that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Oh, no, it didn't. That didn't hurt. Also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right. Okay. Uh, here, then take this. And uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif. And uh, Atreus, see you later. And Throod, bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. This is the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later? Thor's room. Everyone back home would freak if they knew I was in here. Wait, what am I doing in here? Hey, you don't understand. It's a lot more complicated than you think. You don't need to know why things are done. You just need to accept, but I'm old enough. This isn't about your age. Then what is it about? Because by this point, Magni and Modi were set on the path that led to their death. I don't understand. You never try to. Then help me. Why are you so intent to walk the same path? And with that boy, no less. It's not about him. I just, this is my dream. Haven't you ever? You're not some farmhand. We're Aesir. We have duties, not dreams. And you need to start acting like it. Sometimes I hate you. Huh. Out of here. Maybe Odin's down in this library. I just don't get it. The mask, bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? 
<laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I like you better as a drunk. Loki, come here. I finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir, isn't it? First giant. Tell me, can you murder a landslide, smother a storm? He was more, a force of nature, a vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to, to protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? I'm gonna trust you. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift, possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside, and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over, that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this, and I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear. On <laughs> My last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here talks about a cold breath. Breath. Wind. It's got to be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Don't mess this up for me. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention, Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege for all of us. Oh, 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 hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every Lau. Should keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Huh? Vermeer said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in Helheim. You believe everything that old goat says? Rude. Too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to Helheim. Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. <sighs> now, as much as I would love to babysit, I have something else to do for the Allfather. If you run into any trouble, just scream so I know where to find your bodies. Let's find that mask piece. Finally, I can test my skills alongside the real Valkyrie expert. First off, Hellwalkers are nothing compared to Valkyries. Second, I thought you didn't believe me. Here's your chance. For the record, I believe you fought the Valkyries. I just don't believe it was Grandfather who corrupted them, or that he caused the desolation in Midgard, or that he had all the giants killed. Am I missing anything? 
Uh, lots actually. More Hellwalkers! I got this! What? I'm just supposed to walk? No way! <laughs> Wow, this is really good. I gotta say, I don't think these warriors are very hard to do. Loki, watch out! Well, what other heinous crimes has my grandfather committed? Let's see. He decimated Vanaheim, tortured Tyr, murdered Groa, murdered Amir. It goes on and on. Interesting. And where'd you hear all this? Freya and Namir told me. Oh, so his traitorous ex-wife and a bitter former advisor. Got it. Look, you don't believe me, but... No, I don't. Either you're full of crap or you're a hypocrite for helping him. Can we just focus on the mission? Throod. My father wasn't always the person he is now. But he changed. Maybe Odin can too. I know how hard it is to hear this stuff, but... You should know the truth. What you choose to do with it, that's up to you. Dead end. This is where the mask said to go? What's it say? Let's double back. We'll find a way around. See? More Hellwalkers! That means we're headed the right way. I got this. Uh-huh, sure you do. Hey, we're okay, right? I guess. Maybe our families are just meant to be enemies. Well, not us. I don't believe that. What I do believe is that you'll make a great Valkyrie. I'll tell your mom the same thing. Even if she scares the life out of me. Now, we have a mask piece to find. No way through up here either. Now what? I'm not sure. But my gut's telling me what we need is here. Jump up! Could be our way up. Let's head back down and find out. And this way is blocked too. There has to be another way. Keep your eyes peeled. Let's go. Please? Let's go. What's the mask say? So the mask's pull is a little weird with all these buildings in the way, but I think we're going the right way. You think? <laughs> Wait, so this way? Uh, sure. Are you messing with me? I need this to go well. I need my family to see what I can do. I know. We both do. Uh, looks like it's through here. Let me get that for you. Fighting me. See anything in there? Get off there. Nice. Whatever you shot crashed through the floor again. Let's head back and check it out. So, I talk about my mom a lot. What's your dad like? He's intense. 
Like he's trying to force me into this mold. But I'm not sure that's me. Oof. Well, I know exactly what he's like. Thing is, I don't know what I want. I love that you do. You'll figure it out. Which way? The mask showed it was straight ahead earlier. Of course the way's blocked. Maybe they're trying to keep people out. Or something in. I bet there's another way around. There always is. Sweet! So, how'd you know you wanted to be a Valkyrie? I didn't always. After a bad fight with Mom, I snuck out and found them training. Somehow, every movement they made had such purpose, like they knew exactly where they needed to be. And in that moment, so did I. So, where to now? Uh, looks like it's through here. So training gave me... Too heavy? Shut up! Something's blocking it. I'll take a look, but I want to hear the rest. Deal. Let's see. Not bad. I know. As I was saying, seeing the Valkyries fight, all the strength and style, no apologies. It gave me clarity. For the first time, I saw my path forward, clear as day. Too bad giants have to follow prophecy. Who cares? Make your own path, just like we've been doing here. Step aside, little man. This one's stuck too! But I feel like Jump. we can... Sure looks like it. I wish we could get past that. Let's get through here. But it's blocked. What if I move this? Aha! Can you get up there? See if you can find a way to cut the crate down on the other side. I'll wait here. I don't have a fancy way up like you do. Got it. Ingrid, was I too rude about her grandfather? She should know the truth, right? Yeah, guess so. Hey, you talking to me? Uh, no, just talking to Ingrid. Okay, well, I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a better view of that crate? Galpha! You did it! Better get back. All right, the path's open. Let's go! Whoa, the mask is freaking out. We must be close. been here before it's probably nothing doesn't sound like nothing yep we gotta get out of here the mask we're so close besides i don't think it's dangerous are we looking at the same thing maybe he's locked up for a good reason i can feel what he's feeling it's a giant thing look he just wants to be free Peace must be behind him. Trust me. All right. Let's start with the lock not near its teeth. There we go. Heavy 
sleeper. Let's do the next. There was another one under his foot. You're welcome, mangy mutt. Let's look in the chamber he was guarding. Down in the water or something? There's... How? It's not responding anymore. This has never but happened. you said trust you. And we let that thing loose. Grandfather's gonna kill me. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Through. Wait up. Maybe we missed it. Maybe it's back here somewhere. Through. Through. It's, it's gonna be okay. How I... can you say that? I shouldn't have listened to you. Look, if I made a mistake, I'll fix it. I can find the piece. You absolute, unqualified moron! You know that thing tears holes between realms, right? <laughs> well, I suppose I should expect nothing less from half-breeds. Don't call me a half- <laughs> I will call you whatever I like, Junior. Leave him alone. It was a mistake. No! The mistake was allowing you to think that you were ready. You helped him, didn't you? What side are you on anyway, Guppy? Try me and find out. Oh. <laughs> and what are you going to do exactly? <sighs> you see, everyone takes it easy on you because they are afraid of your father. I am not. That fat, drunken, utter piece of trash! <laughs> Yes, yes, the dumb does not fall far from the tree. Very well, then. Give me your best shot. <laughs> you have a lot to learn, little girl. Starting with who your family is and who it is not. Just wait until I'm a Valkyrie. <laughs> Oh. You really believe the Allfather would allow that to happen? <sighs> Please do not let this little weasel feed your delusions any longer. Enough! No! <clears throat> so close. Stop! He just wants to make you mad. Yeah? Well, uh, you toddlers are boring. If you are finished throwing your little tantrum, we should go now. Because I cannot wait to watch you explain this mess to the author. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Hoogan! He's not here. Let's check his study. Oh, boy, is he going to lose it. 
Father will have my back. After the Allfather sent him away, sulking with his tail between his legs? Doubtful. And you, Loki of the Jotnar, I am haunted by your incompetence. It keeps me up at night. Whatever. <laughs> no, I, seriously, I, I find the hues and shades of your shortcomings almost moving. If we could only somehow harness your uselessness, we could fuel this entire city. Fine. It's all on me. Just leave her out of it. I don't need your help, Loki. Sorry. Save it for the Allfather. We have a lot to discuss. Loki, I'll meet you in your room when I'm finished here. Shouldn't be long. Okay. My mission went quite well, Allfather. Secured the item we discussed. The mask, on the other hand, well, <laughs> they are merely children. The adults need to talk now, Loki. Run along. Thanks a lot. Throod, I... I don't want to hear it. Everything was fine until you showed up. I'll make it up to you, I swear. I don't really want to talk right now. I really messed up. It's times like this I really miss home. Ingrid, did you have a home before you came here? Someone who took care of you? That sounds like a yes. Maybe I could help you find them without, you know, screwing it up. Sound like a plan? May I come in? I heard what Heimdall had to say. I'd like to hear it from you. What happened? It wasn't there. I was wrong. Well, we all make mistakes, son. But freeing Garm, <laughs> that was a big one. Chaos is already spilling out into the other realms. We're safe here in Asgard, but everywhere else, I think I want to go home now. Okay, if that's what you want. I meant it when I said you're not a prisoner here. It's your choice. Go, clear your mind. I know you'll be back. But before you go, I'll need the mask back. It's not that I don't trust you, you understand. It's the company you keep. Oh, and Ingrid? Please, I need to go. Loki, when you do decide you're ready to continue our work here, Hugin will be waiting for you in your old home. You screwed up. Doesn't change the fact that you're welcome here. Oh, and say hi to Mimir for me. Never thought I'd be so relieved to be back here. Odin was right. Freeing Garm. How did I screw up so bad? Okay. Guess it's time to face him. No running away this time. Almost home. It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. No, 
no, no. It's you! Wait, it's you! Protect yourself! Here! Yeah. Watch out! We're spotted! Trying to find a way to you! Do you mind? We're being attacked no. right now! Break off and help me close these stairs! Tell me when! Lassa Reef. Lassa Reefa. Lassa Reefa. Father! Off your back. Help Freya. I will draw them to me. No thanks to you. Where is Atreus? Atreus? Has the runaway returned and brought all this with him? God, just hold still. I told you I'm fine. Oh, you're bleeding. Quit your blubbering. So my fault. The Hell Walkers. They're everywhere. Everywhere. That is not your fault. Yes, it is. There was a wolf in hell. He was in chains and and I set him free. I, I thought that if Garm! Great bleeding fuck lad, you freed Garm! Garm? Who freed Garm? That's madness. Surely not you, young one. If the Hound of Hell is loose, he'll chew through the fabric of the realms. Hellwalkers are just the beginning. What were you thinking? Aye, this is a fuck-up of not insignificant proportions. What would drive you to such mischief? Is this Loki's doing? Enough. Leave him. Atreus has made a mistake. One that we will fix together. Grand. Now, if you don't mind, I'd rather stay here. I've had my fill of visits to Helheim. One problem. Excuse I'm not sure I have a way back to Alon. Perhaps the squirrel does. I need to speak with you at once. At once, I say. Gentlemen, I apologize for my brusque tone, but whatever has lately transpired in Helheim is completely unacceptable. I must insist you remedy the situation without further delay. I implore you, 
Return to Helheim post haste and undo whatever it is you've done. And do try not to fuck up. Aren't you gonna, you know, reprimand me? No. I am relieved. You are safe. Okay. Wow. Maybe I should run away more often. Atreus. Kidding. Sorry. So where did the new spear come from? Brock made it. From Dropnir. What's that? A... ring. But what's its story? I do not know. You were not there to ask. <sighs> He's probably just scared. He was chained up for a really long time. We can't hurt him, okay? A desperate creature can be the most dangerous. I know. Come on, we gotta get across before he opens up more realm tears. <laughs> What? No. Why? Are you not working with him? It's not what you think. Whatever he promised, he cannot be trusted. I don't. But he has something I need. It's hard to explain. Your work for Odin. You said it is hard to explain. Why? I just need you to trust me. I know I have no right to ask. But can you anyway? What does he have that you need? Why can you not tell me? It's complicated. What about you? Why do you have a new weapon? I thought you didn't have more. I do not. But... It's complicated? Everyone keeps secrets. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones we love. And don't worry about Odin. I'm not going back there. That is good to hear. Realm tear. Arm's been busy. I think I understand how Freya closed one. Keep the enemies away if you can. I can. Let me know when you're ready. <sighs> I bet if we follow those Hellwalkers up there, we find God. Thanks for coming back with me. You didn't have to. I am your father. I will always help, as long as I am able. Well, that's good to hear, too. Tell me, what were you doing in Asgard? I was translating things for Odin. There's this mask he found and a magical rift that's connected to it. It's all sort of... Complicated. Yeah, but I met people my age there. Made friends. I think we're still friends. You cannot trust those loyal to Odin. It's not always bad to trust people. It compromises your judgment. Maybe, but I'm tired of feeling alone. Atreus, I... Let's just figure out how this gate works, okay? <sighs> I know I can't trust him, but I needed his help. We can't let Ragnarok happen either. 
I would have helped you. No, but... Wait, he's right here! Okay, okay! It's okay, boy! It's alright. Just calm! Calm. We, we just wanna... through here. If Odin truly wishes to avoid Ragnarok, then we are in agreement. Yeah? Then what's that spear for? To protect you. Don't you have other weapons for that? <laughs> The traveler. I hate fighting these guys when they're alive. Preparing for Ragnarok. And seriously, why the spear? I share. It's your turn. We are not the same. I am the parent. You're ducking the question. We're close. Promise me you won't kill him, okay? I make no promises, but I will try not to kill the beast. What is your plan? I'm sort of making it up as I go. But you're not talking about Varm. You cannot outsmart Odin. It's worked so far. Has it? Now what? I'm gonna try to tame it. Tame it? Sure. I've tamed wolves before. I'll distract Garm. You freeze his chains with your axe so we can't run in. Latch him onto something. No. Too dangerous. It's a good plan. Let's move. Wait. Transformation. Did Odin teach you to control it? No. We will not rely on what he taught you. Next time, we do it my way. Yes, sir. Why didn't that work? You didn't mess up on purpose, did you? Now, who does not trust? Sorry, that wasn't fair. I just... I thought it would work. Patience. We will find a way. <laughs> I think I hear him up ahead. We do this my way now. 
guess your way means... It means what you think it means. Can't we try and... We have the power to limit the harm this creature can cause. We can use it. Okay. I wish it didn't have to end that way. It's my fault he got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. Go home now. Atreus. I know. Close my heart to it. <sighs> Come on. 
I sought the Norns. They told me Heimdall intended to kill you in Asgard. Heimdall? The Norns? I thought you didn't believe in that. Find him. The dead will keep flooding the realms. The realms will collapse. You must learn to calm your mind. Maybe I've learned I run better on chaos. What else did you learn? We work better when we trust each other. You hear that? Where is he? Watch out! We gotta find him. Come on. Well, guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do in Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir could... Change its nature. Yeah, let's see if it took. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that. You're 
okay? Sorry I hurt you. It's over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it. Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets. No. A promise. When that someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to mom? Mm. See what I can do when you trust me? Mm. Oh. Mm. should inform the others. Decide our next move. So, when the Nords told you Heimdall was gonna try and kill me, that's what your spear's for, isn't it? It is. Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? You don't want war. No, but I will do what it takes to keep you safe. Maybe we can use the sigils to freeze the gear up there. Alka. Father, if you can't trust the faith, why do you care what they say? I can take no chances. There's six tears to close, and, uh, not to expect thanks. They shouldn't have been open in the first place. She is not wrong. What's wrong? I have been falling back into my old ways. Angry. Distrustful. With you. Now and before.
without you? I got reckless. Overconfident. Made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same. All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Atreus. I am sorry. Don't be sorry, father. Be better. <laughs> Let's go home. Nothing is written. That can't be unwritten. Remember? We shouldn't let prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh, before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. back. How did it go? We should travel us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. 
They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sandre? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You were right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tia. I believe you just might. You are well. <laughs> Take more than a port full of bone jaw and stiffs to keep me down. What am I gonna do? Walk around with a bandage on my head, begging for attention? I was mauled by a bear! Nudged more like it. Hey, wait. We're with you. <gasps> now that I've spent time in Asgard, it's strange to imagine Magni and Modi there. Sif raised them both, right? She seems like a good mom. Maybe a little overprotective. A good mother? Not a Sif I knew. In a culture as debaucherous as the Aesir, being a paragon of womanhood meant being a fierce fighter and a fiercer drinker. She and Thor seldom knew a moment's sobriety, whether brutally dealing with their enemies or just as brutally raising those boys. What do you mean? Oh, little brother. I know you didn't have an easy <laughs> it, but you can't fathom how much worse it can get. Wait. Let us look this way. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. You think that means... Another half, Gufa. Did the Light Elves put this lock here? Why would they care what happens in the Baron? When we were in Vanaheim, Big Bear and Bela spoke of this place. They said it was forbidden. Went on about uncovering some secret history. Secret history? Sounds like your kind of adventure. Aye. That's what I said. Another storm awaits. Yeah, but at least now we know how to end it. So, once we free both Hofgufas and end all the storms, then what? Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing Hofgufa. The scars of conflict are woven into the very fabric of the realm. 
I have to believe in the long run we're doing right by Alpine. But, well, what's your father always saying in this situation? Keep your expectations low, and you'll never be disappointed. Wise words. Look at all these books. An archive of knowledge. I don't see any light elves around. For now. Maybe they've left for the day. And we can browse at our leisure. Another one of Diwali's diagrams. You spoke of his conscience. Aye. He saw that the Aesir would likely use his powerful weapons to cut down his fellow dwarves. So he ripped out his design pages and scattered them. And what of him? Well, the Allfather found out. He wasn't terribly pleased. <laughs> Looks like the Ancient Elves wrote a lot. And none of the Light or Dark Elves have seen any of this? Seems like stuff they want to read. Swathbone! Ah, it appears the librarian would like a word. Lata Framborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. Use a shield strike, brother! <laughs> 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 She's using the light to heal herself! No Thought. Maggie Vita. How got She thinks she's protecting them by hiding all this knowledge away. Our ally wishes to read this journal. We are taking the book. gonna end that way. Last we traveled here, when the Dark Elf King attacked us. The ramifications were dire for his people. We will not make the same mistake twice. I've heard before, but I'm glad we're doing this. Sandstorm just feels wrong for Alfar. Aye. Hearing the song of the sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Not once we free this other half, Gufa. It'll be a duet. What is this place? It doesn't look like a Dark Elf cave. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track, then. Amir, the last time we were in Alfheim, this hive stuff was all over the rock. <laughs> Unnatural. You're choking the life out of everything. Even the light itself. It looked that way because you're not from this realm, lad. To the Dark Elves, a hive is more natural than that faultless, lily-white column in the center of the well. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our crap <coughs> Asipa, for that matter. You have a point. I'd like to believe I always do. <sighs> What are the Light Elves doing down here? Isn't this Dark Elf territory? Territory changes hands often in Nalfheim. Also it appears. Big VR did mention that the ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Oops. Watch out! <laughs> 
two half goofas free, are they gonna be able to uh, make more? Almost certainly. A bittersweet spectacle, considering the cost. The cost? Aye. The adults' light fades as they pass it on to their offspring. Hold on. Are you saying they have to die to have kids? They don't have to, but the more light they give, the higher the chance of their offspring's survival. Damn. That's... Wow. It is what parents do. Really? All parents are supposed to die for their children? It is what I would do. Well, here it is. Guess it's time to free it. You don't seem particularly happy about it, Lad. We're freeing them only for them to die. It doesn't seem fair. Life seldom is. But their sacrifice will allow their children to thrive. So they will die contented. I hadn't thought about it. I just... If I were one of the children, I wouldn't want them to. I know, son. But it is the only choice they can make. it up a bit. Guess that's all we can do from down here. Ah, back to the surface then. The fate of these creatures. It reminds me of a story. Yeah? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such power. So the blacksmith used the flame Father, of... Father, it's okay. What is okay? You don't have to... Look, I know I get sad about this kind of stuff, but... It doesn't mean I won't be okay, you know? Yes. So, what happened with the blacksmith? His daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died, trying to protect her from those who would open it. You're not gonna have to do that for me. I know. But I would. This one's all yours, brother. You know what? Never mind. Wow. The Song of the Sands. Well, didn't know I could get misty. It's beautiful. Thanks, Father, for doing all this. I know it doesn't solve everything, but it feels like we helped. No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? Peace, peace is difficult after centuries of conflict. It must be found in its own time, from within. It cannot be forced. But mom helped you find peace, right? 
are the elves supposed to change if no one shows them the way? Your mother. She trusted me. Gave me the space to find my own way. But you are right, Atreus. She was my guide. Our actions in Alfheim may not bring peace. But by ending the storm and bringing light back to this land, perhaps we have planted the seeds. Couldn't have said it better myself. Sounds like I'm rubbing off on you, brother. It is possible. Namir, you were explaining how bad it got for Magni and Modi being raised by Thor and Sif while they were drinking. I want to understand. Well... Imagine learning discipline by having it flashed into you time and again. That was Thor's approach, the same one Odin used on him. A poisonous notion of manhood passed down through generations. A grim inheritance, leaving all of them the poorer. Well, Sif doesn't drink anymore. Neither of them do. I am quietly flabbergasted to hear it. I get the sense it's more recent for him. But I know he loves his daughter. I expect that's the explanation. <laughs> Sif goes straight and hopes that raising a good daughter will redeem their past failures. Thor struggles. Maybe she gives him an ultimatum after some breaking point or other. Like what he did to Modi that night he found us. Oh, that's a deft guess, lad. And if that ultimatum worked, well, good for them. Truly. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? To Freyr's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Freya in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor... and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. 
My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. Heard that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. Down this path, and you'll find their den. Good luck. And don't shoot any boards. <laughs> you think he's really forgiven me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual miscommunication, conflicting mm -hmm. loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, eh? Okay, okay. Point taken. Vanaheim <laughs> looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfan. But there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. He gross. I like it. Hey, no, you are. We're here. Stay alert. Wonder where they went. Eaten by a knockin', perhaps. Doubtful. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the nine realms. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Hildas Vini said Freyr and Bigvir were captured. Who's Bigvir? He's a light elf, a former scholar exiled from Alfheim with his wife Bela. She may be their best warrior. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. He's okay. Amir, you once told us Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, like <laughs> Prophecy. <laughs> Which after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. <laughs> but Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Aenor Yar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hati, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. <laughs> uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, 
Best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hathi Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildas Vini and the elves, who <laughs> else is part of Freya's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill him. That's nice. Did you see that? I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. Hmm. Fitting. There she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. Here we go. Uh... Empty. Where'd they all go? Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. <laughs> Being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Come on! Ambush? Okay. You see that coming? She's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. Still up there. Another ambush? Really? That changed the charm. They are not smart. I and there's that. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So. Doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine... Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. 
Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. <laughs> Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. <laughs> Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. But what if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. They have a gift for us. A 
way to call them anytime we need them. Remember that altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's where we're supposed to use it. <laughs> Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodas Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhryar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. We should get across from up here. So, we report back to Hildesfini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, father. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blowfinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. Your fire blades are looking a little cool. <laughs> Hand them over. I knew we'd left something behind. Oh, hi. Hey, your little one. Well, he's a cutie pie. Should have seen him a couple winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. Oh, you hush. The fuse has been wrong with a growing boy. Once you see the signal, count it down. Y'all change the ding dang time of day? Okay, well, that's impressive. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einherjar are holding fair in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Vigir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Vela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Last. 
They've rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Hmm. Our disadvantages are many. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. <laughs> Careful, Bob. You're covered in Bifrost. <laughs> <laughs> the Norn said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? Gods, Mimir. What? The most annoying man alive. <laughs> Alas, poor Neathog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathog protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Just make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. Hurry, Kratos. They're all waiting on us. What? No! Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Coming for you, Ingvi. Completely giving away your position. <laughs> what idiots! <laughs> oh, if it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Mm. <laughs> no. The burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. 
Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this, but we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? Whoa! What did Ghoul Toll forever do to you? Not going to lie! I'm disappointed! No, brother. The spear remains our best chance. Like father, like son. You actually hit me. Slow down. To spare me out of pity. <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him. This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. You do not get to decide 
my fate! You are dead, sunshine. Kratos, that was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. At least the rescue's going well. can make it. We need to move. You cannot. Ow, ow, ow. Easy. To me. Follow. We, uh, got company back here. Oh, no. Archers ahead. Seriously? Nice job, by the way. Hey, 
I'm a trade. You okay? Hi. No. Just hold on. Gotta be close, right? On your right! Keep going! We're almost at the river! Oh, How about the girl? Where is the boat? Throw it in the river. Hurry now. That won't hold them for long. Oh, of course. Steve brought me a boat. They will regroup. We should go. 